Welcome back all of you and today we would like to talk about the introduction of cadastre survey. If we have to talk about development of cadastre system and its evolution, then according to the Will Williamson and Ting in 1999, we can see that there is a four major division which is federalism, industrial revolution, post-war reconstruction, information revolution. And uh, in this first federalism, where uh, the people used to serve under the lords or king, and they are servant, and they, uh, in that period, in a, from the beginning to the thousand AD, around, in that period, people used to hot land as a wealth, and it's uh, is used for a fiscal purpose only for the taxation, land valuation and taxation were the major one. And after that, industrial revolution, in that period, land has served as a commodity, which is termed as a items, it can be items, and legal constraint has been uh, taken, uh, taken, legally registration, land market paradigm, and uh, legal there was. And after that, post-war reconstruction, 1932, it's 19th century, around 19th century, land as a scarce resources, which is termed as valuable asset, and it was taken as a managerial cadastre, land management process, land administration, and it consists of cadastre, land valuation, land use, and its ownership, so that it can be managed properly and after that the, in the 90s 1980s era uh, this land has taken as a multi-purpose which is the information revolution here and it has taken as land as a community resources and uh, it's a valuable to the community it is used for multi-purposes not only for uh, legal or fiscal but it will be taken as for a development as well as infrastructure uh, management as well as sustainable development so it has taken so this can be seen in the below graph also and after that we can see the development of cadastre in this particular figure that Roman used to uh, around 380 they used to uh, survey their their victory land and given to the servant and they take taxation from them and after that first European cadastre which can be done uh, through the marker where, uh, where it shows the boundary of a parcel and after that, uh, in 1807, traditional uh, cadastre of a Napoleon Bonaparte, which used controlled, well, uh, which was a control point, which was established by triangulation, and they used to uh, give the security and ownership, which include parcel number, unique parcel identifier, then ownership land type land use and these were the uh, this is the foundation and which was copied by and followed by many european countries and uh, after that the in uh, in the year FIC international federation of software in 1999 they proposed a vision of cadastre 2014 which will include comprehensive cadastre and this comprehensive cadastre includes six vision. One is legally legal right to the land. Second one is uh, land register and cadastral map separation will be ended. Land cadastral map is ended and land live modeling will be approached. Another one will be fourth one will be public and private ownership and uh, and the people will public and private uh, 
partnership work together and fifth one is paper and pencil chemistry will have to be gone and the last but not the least one will be chemistry 2014 vision is chemistry system should be cost recovery that's it was given by this particular chemistry 2014 and many countries in this world are following this and uh, even Nepal is also uh, committed to follow this and uh, in a brief they are trying their best to to fulfill this vision and development of cadastre system in Nepal cadastre survey started with chain survey in Nepal in the, it was a uh, in a Lichibi period, 13th century, they used to cadastre in you know, a Likat and Shrestha. It was a uh, tabulated form, and after that, uh, there was a uh, different. And uh, in the B. Somerset, 1952, he started a chain survey and uh, performed this survey in a uh, two district, Kabre Palanchok and uh, Sindhu Palchok. And in the course of time, it was a uh, shift to plain table survey where it was started in 1980 years by Colonel Gonesh Bosnet and the military personnel and they surveyed the Bhaktapur district and there was after that uh, there was so many like limitation accuracy and time manpower the, the this system have currently uh, Nepal has uh, implemented it uh, one one in a 2061-62 Bonepa. It's a pilot project of a Bonepa digital cadastre and it was successfully implemented in the phase of they are providing ownership to the people and this has been uh, implemented in other districts such as Tolikhel and Pohora, Argakhachi and Panuti and, uh, and the other other technique uh, also we can use uh, like uh, total stations, global positioning, DGPS and other remote sensing technique can be used to improve the cadastre system of Nepal.